de Amazon River that it divides Colombia and Peru and Brazil. You know? So what they are doing is there is a biomedical research lab in, in Colombia, in exactly in Leticia, which is the capital of the Colombian Amazon. And this lab has been there for 33 years. So what they do is that they pay indigenous people to capture the monkeys. They do exactly what I just said. They go, they they cut the trees around the nest where the animals live. They capture the, the monkeys. Sometimes, yeah, the offsprings can escape because they are more difficult to, to trap. And then you will find all these animals lonely. You know? And many of them die because they sometimes they, they just need parental care and they don't receive it, so they die. Indigenous people capture these animals, put them in, into sacks, no, then in these wooden cages, and they don't feed them properly, they don't clean these cages. Then they wait because it's a lot of work for indigenous people too, and it's very risky too because some of them have to, to claim without any equipment, so it's very risky for indigenous people too. A lot of our monkeys have come from laboratories where they have been experimented on in cataract research and we have several that are hard of seeing. Unfortunately, they also use owl monkeys particularly in malaria research. Um, they, it's an invasive procedure, they remove their spleen and of course we can live without a spleen but these particular labs have been responsible and several of our monkeys have come from malaria research without spleens and get to spend the rest of their days living here at the Conservancy in retirement.